What's up, fellas? It's your boy, Frankie M. Back again with another video, guys. You guys can see the title. It says Nismo. Stands for Nissan Motorsports. Today, I'm working on my wife's car. Her Z. Something simple. At least, for me, it is. Working on the cabin filter. This one's already been changed out. But I'm going to show you guys how to do this. This is the original one from Nissan. You guys can see that. Alright, let's get started. Obviously, it's on the passenger side. So, what you need to do is you open your latch. Glove box. And there's seven screws. They're Phillips screws. Let me see if I can get you guys in here. So you guys can see. There's one, two, three, four. You guys can see that? And then, let me see. Uh, bear with me, guys. There's one, if you guys can see it, way down in there. Pointing at it with the screwdriver. I'm using my Craftsman, made in USA. <laughs> I don't think you guys care to see this. There's a the Craftsman USA. I bought this at a... Uh, pawn shop I won't focus dollar 99 guys two bucks long craftsman screwdriver made in USA anyways there's another one right there if you guys can see it uh, right where my fingers finger shadow there's another there's two little ones but it's the one on the right okay and then obviously there's same thing on the opposite side so the total seven screws guys and they are Phillips let me sit you back down let's get this all right hopefully you guys can see good right there the reason why I'm doing this video guys is because um, I've been researching how to change this cabin filter and I couldn't find no videos on YouTube um, I had to go on some of the forums and even like that they still didn't have videos for it um, if you guys have done a cabin air filter on a 370z please let me know in the comments you know if you guys got videos of it i would appreciate if you guys post the link or post the video i would really appreciate that see how you guys did this but anyways remove all seven screws and here's one of them it's a phillips so once you remove it guys let's see if i can do this kind of just want to pull on it don't yank on it because you might break something so I, it's real easy to just pop out. I just wiggle it back and forth. You know, obviously, like I said, you don't, you guys don't want to yank on this. Don't want to break anything, especially if you guys are working on a customer's car. And it's already undone, guys. All right, let's see. You can see that. Boom. There's a wire harness on here. I believe this is for the latch. I'm not sure exactly what this is for. If you guys do know what this is for, please let me know in the comments. There's another wire harness on that side. So basically what you do, let's get you guys in here closer. If you guys can see that. Filters in here. There's a little tab right here. Just pull on it gently and it should slide out. There you go. There's your filter. Like I said, uh, I replaced it with the original from Nissan. And uh, I'll, I'll show you guys the part number and everything. But I'm trying to pull it out so you guys can see. There we go. Okay. If you guys can see the arrow, there's a certain way to put this in. You know. Brand new. I know it looks dirty, but I guess that's just the way it is. I'll show you guys the the one that was in here. It was filthy. So basically just put it back in there like that. And if you guys see these little tabs on this piece, these tabs actually lift the filter so it sits like like that. Because I had a little hard time trying to stick this back in there. And I didn't realize what it was doing. So see. Boom. Shit, hopefully you got that in camera. So, let's try to see. 
pull on it. Filter. Let's see if I can do this. Boom. <clears throat> that easy, guys. That easy. So. Here's the original one that was in there. If you guys can see how dirty and ugh, disgusting. Not only that, once you turn on the air, it smelled in here <laughs> pretty bad. So it's been a while since it's been replaced. So there you guys go. That's the original one. And then basically what you guys want to do is just I'll move the camera back so you guys can get a better view. Oops, sorry. Hopefully you guys get that. This thing is what, what it'll hit right here. So you kind of got to tuck it under. And then there's little tabs, guys. There's like four. I'll show you guys. You guys can see the little tabs on the, on the glove box. Be careful with those. You guys don't want to break those. Like I said, especially if you're doing it on customer's car. The last thing you want to do is having to buy this whole unit because of those little tabs that are broken. So just be careful, guys. Take your time. And what I've learned is that the top two tabs, the little slots are right here. If you guys can see that. There's a slot right here. Let me see if I can set the phone. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Right here, if you guys can see my finger, there's a little slot here and a slot on the opposite side right there so you got two little tabs on each end which is that one right there oops sorry and there's one on the end so what I learned is just line up those little tabs to the top one and basically once they're lined up just push up on it and there you go and it basically just stays in there in place open your latch get your screws like I said you got seven of them now like I said mentioned earlier if you guys have done this those of you that are Nissan technicians you guys would know exactly how to do this probably do it easier and faster than what I'm doing it but I would appreciate if you guys do have any videos or comments leave them in the comment section if you guys got videos you guys can always leave a link and I'll, I'll definitely go check it out check out your video so yeah guys and just basically put it back together you know the one that's going to be it's a little tricky is the one down there in the middle um, what I did, because this is not a magnetic screwdriver, I took my magnet and just sat it on there. And so it's kind of magnetized a little bit. You guys can see that. You know, so it's, I did that so I just don't lose that one screw in case if I do drop it. in and then just get the ones on the end we'll do this one first because I think the camera can see this one so that's that one now I don't know if this is uh, for all 370Z's um, this is a 2012 I don't know, because I know they do change. But I'm guessing they're pretty much the same. But there it is, guys. Done. That easy. So, like I said, that's the old one. Disgusting. This is going to go in the trash. <laughs> 
Here's the original one from Nissan. Um, I paid 25 bucks for this from Nissan. The Nissan place that I go to, um, guy named Joe is a real cool guy. Older guy, he's been selling parts for 45 years. And um, he, hooked, he, hooked, he hooked it up, basically. Give me a good uh, good price on it. I think they retail for like 30 bucks, 35 bucks, maybe. And sorry, guys. It does come with instructions on how to do it, but it's funny because, well, I shouldn't say it's funny. It's in Japanese. You know, obviously this is an import Japanese car, but it shows pictures and I kind of went off the pictures. I don't know what the picture, the first picture has to do with the battery. I mean, do I got to disconnect the battery? Wow. I hope not, but that's pretty much it guys. See, it shows here, you can pop off the latch. So you guys can see that. But like I said, I'm not Japanese guys. I don't know how to read Japanese. And then it's got the stickers, which I don't think I'm gonna put these on there. See, 12,000 kilometers, I'm guessing that's when you gotta replace it. So it's roughly every year, I believe, you gotta replace these. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. But like I said, if you guys have done this before, cause like I said, I did my research, I could not find not a single video on how to change the Cabernet filter on a 370Z. That's the reason why I'm making this video to help everybody out, else out there, you know. And I, I needed to do it. So I, now I know how to do it. But like I said, guys, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you guys don't like it, give me a thumbs down. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Um, appreciate it. As always, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys got links for videos, leave them in the description. I mean, not the description, in the comments. And I'll take a look at them, check them out. Go from there. As always, guys, peace.